ranked first among the top 25 global retailers in 2021 with a global revenue of $572.8 billion. Walmart, a retailer, has managed to stay on top while so many businesses and stores closed their doors due to inflation and post-COVID effects. But how is Walmart doing all of this? What is the mystery behind their rise to the top? Watch the video till the end as we answer all your questions and tell you how the company reached its current highs. Known for offering cheap and convenient shopping, Walmart's creator Sam Walton started off with a Ben Franklin variety store in 1945. His talent quickly became apparent as his store's revenue tripled in no time. Walton presented Ben Franklin his idea of low prices in order to grow the company, but the directors of the company took immediate action to oust him after realizing that their margins would be reduced as a result of the lower pricing plan. Then in 1962, Walton, along with his brother Bud, decided to launch a store by the name of Walmart independently. The store started to grow quickly and by the early 1970s, Walmart had grown to 30 locations throughout the Midwest of America. Walmart concentrated on rural areas where markets weren't saturated, and individuals could cut their grocery shopping time from a few hours to a few minutes by simply buying at a local Walmart rather than competing in metropolitan areas with established discount stores. Walmart had a presence in almost all of 50 U.S. states by the early 1980s and had established itself as a dominant force. The reason behind this dominance was the adoption of advanced technology available at that time. Walmart was one of the first retailers to use the barcode system to speed up transactions at the checkout counter. Invented by George J. Lohrer, the first universal barcode technology provided a barcode that could be read by all scanners, which gave Walmart a significant competitive advantage over their rivals by enabling them to track the movement of products into and out of their stores providing them with point-of-sale information in real time that helped them determine the ideal mix of products for each individual store, while also keeping the manufacturers informed about inventory status. Additionally, this data was evaluated and mined to determine demand, customer behavior, and needs. Most importantly, it enabled producers to supply the correct quantity of items at the right time without using warehouses. Walmart was also one of the first companies to use radio frequency identification technology, which calls for manufacturers to embed microchips with comprehensive product data within their goods. With the aid of cutting-edge technology, Walmart was able to determine which products were doing well at the time of restocking and how many should be placed on the shelves. This improved inventory management effectiveness even further, and offered Walmart an advantage when negotiating with suppliers and manufacturers. This enabled Walmart to set the prices it was willing to accept from manufacturers because the company kept track of all the sales data and was able to determine the price points that customers were willing to pay for specific products. Along with utilizing technologies like the barcode and RFID, Walmart developed a number of strategies that enabled it to compete favorably against its rivals on price. The company developed cross-docking as part of its supply chain strategy. Cross-docking is the technique of transporting goods with little handling or storage from a supplier or manufacturer directly to the consumer or the retail chain. With careful planning, Walmart positioned its supply chain outlets 130 miles from their distribution facilities. The locations of regional distribution centers were typically those with the lowest labor and transportation expenses. Without being offloaded and stored in the warehouse, the products were immediately loaded into a truck and driven to a Walmart store. This method helped in reducing labor costs, storage costs, and transportation costs. Walmart is a significant source of income for a lot of big suppliers and manufacturers, in some cases, more than 20%. Walmart excels at using its significant bargaining power against manufacturers, since it is the largest retailer in the world and has a vast network of locations throughout the globe. 
Manufacturers are compelled to comply with Walmart's ongoing demand for price reductions because they want to keep Walmart as a retailer of their products. Many small and medium-sized firms widely compare getting their goods on Walmart's shelves to earning an Olympic gold medal. Back in the day, over 10,000 new suppliers used to apply to work as vendors for Walmart, and only around 200 of them were ultimately accepted. By giving the supplier access to the customer behavior software, Walmart is directly affecting the supplier's decision and substantially favoring itself in the manufacturer-to-retailer relationship. In actuality, Walmart makes use of its negotiating position by imposing terms on its supplier contracts regarding pricing, volume, delivery schedule, packaging, and quality. In reality, Walmart determines the profit margins for each of its vendors. Walmart's approach is built around the idea of everyday low price. Despite the fact that it may seem evident now, retailers back then relied on relatively high margins, which ensured them of sizable profits even when sales volumes were low. Walmart, on the other hand, suggested reducing margins, which necessitated greater sales volume and cost-cutting. Because discounts are avoided as a result of consistently low costs, customers are thus more devoted. This translates for the company into steady cash flows, higher sales, and higher profitability. Along with its pricing policy, Walmart provides the ease of one-stop shopping as the company sells a wide range of products, including video games, groceries, and clothes. Furthermore, employees at Walmart are instructed to abide by the 10-foot rule, which states that any staff member who is within 10 feet of a customer must help them if needed. Walmart placed a great deal of focus on its employees because it understood that they were crucial to the success of the retail firm. The company decided to call its employees as associates and recommended them to run their own regions. Each salesperson should be aware of the volume of sales, inventory, costs, and profits for their particular department. In order to provide its employees a chance to participate in the company's earnings and profits, Walmart has also implemented a bonus structure and a system of performance-linked compensation. This encourages employees to contribute to the company and uphold their loyalty. This company has also experienced its fair share of hiccups. In 1992, with the death of Sam Walton, sales fell sharply, but they soon recovered after the launch of the company's house brand, Great Value, in 1993. In the years following Walton's passing, the company became less careful with its money and swiftly racked up corporate debt to pay for innovative new methods, like a set of extra Walmart supercenters. Fortunately, the financial risk paid off, as Walmart sales doubled by 1995 and it became the largest private employer in the world by 1999. Then, in 2001, the company surpassed ExxonMobil in overall sales, making it the largest firm in the entire world. This rapid expansion was not without controversy, as local merchandisers who couldn't compete with Walmart's economy of scale were pushed out of business, which has been blamed for Walmart's role in urban sprawl. Moreover, Walmart has additionally come under fire for maintaining low salaries, as a result of the company's anti-union attitude. Walmart has also been named in various lawsuits over the past decade or so for a variety of reasons. But despite its ups and downs, Walmart's business is clearly one of the most successful in the world. That's it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content, and if you did, show some love and hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.